Here's the Elliott Wave forecast for March 21st, 2013. On the S&P 30 Day One Minute Chart, looks like we have Wave 1, Wave 2, Wave 3, 4.382, and we entered at least a Wave 5. Uh, typically within third waves, the fifth wave does not truncate, typically. And usually it's with at least wave 1 equals wave 5, which is target as high as 1580. Uh, 0.618 times wave 1 plus wave 3 will target as high as 1600. In either case, uh, we could um, take out pressure stop at 1571. I think it's 1571? Yeah. So we're going to take, uh, there's a good chance you take a stop out um, by the end of this week. So that's going to be really fun. For the Dow, that's actually, hmm. That really didn't really didn't really trace that much. It looks like one, two, three. So this could still be a three in Dow, but um, if S and P we got a th one, two, three, four. This sh this should be a five. Uh, target of wave one equals wave five would be approximately fourteen thousand seven fifty to fourteen thousand eight hundred. So there's still at least a, a, a still more in the third wave left. Uh, for Nasdaq, oh one thing is for S and P. Here's one here's one big thing. This retracement here is a zigzag, so this could, this could actually be a wave two at best. But since I'm, I'm going to be a little conservative here, I, I would guess 1580 to 1600 before we get another correction. But at best, if this is a two, we could probably rally to as high as, uh, geez, 1670. But uh, um, conservatively, I'm expecting around 1580 to 1600. Uh, for NASDAQ, Looks like one, two, three, four. This could actually be a two, considering how deep it was. And we took out the top of the wave one or the wave three. Um, conservative target would be wave one because wave, wave one equals wave five would be about uh, thirty-three hundred in Nasdaq, and point six eight times wave, wave one plus wave three would be about thirty-four hundred. But uh, thirty-three hundred is uh, conservative wave one equals wave five target. Past couple days have been pretty crazy. Uh, first of all, I bought UPro. At uh, I believe it was uh, where did I sell it? Oh yeah, I, uh, I bought it at a one sixteen ten right at the peak, which sometimes I do that stupid. I stupidly do that, but um, and we, we dropped in the zigzag and I ended up stopping out yesterday around uh, one fourteen fifty seven, and um, and then what I did was I reversed and went short, so I was down about sixty five hundred on that trade, but then. What I do is the people. What people love about me is that I can quickly make the money back really fast, and um, I do it within a couple of days, which, which happened. So I was down about sixty-seven ish, sixty-seven hundred dollars on this UPro trade, buying at the peak and then um, stopping out at four, one fourteen fifty-seven. But then I went short by buying SPXU. Uh, I bought SPXU. Where was that? I bought SPXU around. Uh, where was that? I believe it was twenty eight fifty. Okay, about bought around uh, no twenty eight fifty five, and then um, when it spiked up, I sold it around uh, twenty nine. Uh, I think it was twenty nine oh one, so that was about thirty seven hundred dollars back. So I need to make back three thousand. So I was still down three thousand dollars on that on on that last UPro trade. But then I went back again on UPro, and I saw this. I saw this formation. The, the miraculous five waves down in a C wave formation, which has worked so frequently for me. What I saw was this A, B, and one, two, three, four truncated fifth wave. When I saw the truncation in the fifth wave, I immediately jumped in there around uh, 112.57. And um, it turns out I was right again. So A, B, C down. So I bought it at 112.57, and then it spiked up um, on the rally when I, um, I, I, I bought it at the close. I ended up stopping at a one fourteen sixty for about a fifty one, about a five thousand dollar profit. So in a period of two days, I, I went from down sixty seven hundred around that, uh, around sixty seven hundred, uh, to up about um, eighty eight hundred. So, I can quickly see. Here's the thing with uh, my losses. Um, I'll recognize a loss. I can recognize um when I'm wrong pretty quickly. I can swallow a loss. And then I know that in the next couple of days I can make it back really quick, and this, and and uh, turns out I was I, I was in the end I was up about uh, two thousand in the end, so <laughs> that's that's what I do. Um, it's like people love me because like I I can recognize a mistake and reverse as as soon as possible. When I when I stopped at at one fourteen uh, fifty seven and in, in the U Pro, 
and went short on the SPXU as, as you can see. Well, SPXU is triple ETF short. As you can see, it dropped like crazy from uh, one uh, the, the the UPRO slash S and P. And this I rode all the way down to the bottom near the bottom. And um, once I saw the 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 target of uh, fifteen thirty nine, I saw once I saw fifteen forty one, which is my intraday target, I, I immediately reversed and um, uh, and I immediately sold the SPXU for for the for the thirty seven ish profit thirty seven hundred. I don't think it's thirty seven eighty. And then back went back in, and then gap up. That takes a lot of skill, guys. Okay, I don't want to be like, oh, I'm, I'm the greatest trader in the world, but seriously, there really isn't anybody uh, that I found on the internet who can top what I can do. And a lot of people know it. <laughs> That's why I'm making so much money off my website. That's why I'm getting media exposure now. By the way, I, um, I had an article about me on the street.com on the front page for like 12 hours about me. And... um. I am just starting to get media coverage now, and uh, <laughs> you'll see me more often on on websites like that, on like the front page, and um, things are just starting to ramp for me. Like my my life has just has changed since November when when I first did that uh, when I first did that um, Cyber Monday sale. I was making about four or five thousand dollars a month, and about um, off my subscriptions, which is not bad. And then once the that Cyber Monday sale came along, I've been making four times that, three to four times that per per month since November, and um, this this month is no no exception at all. <laughs> and including my trading, you know, just think about it. Including the trading, I'm averaging about, I believe last year I was making about twelve thousand a month off of trading, off my off my signals. And uh, just think about it; it's, it's a lot of money. So I'm I'm overwhelmed by just. Like my my community of of of, um, of subscri paid subscribers on my site, we're now numbering um, close to three hundred now. Um, it says it says like two twelve right now, but I still have subscribers who have yet to uh, um, uh, have yet to enter the the registration form um, on the on the new site. About fifty or sixty people have yet to enter the registration, so I'm approaching three hundred plus subscribers now, and it's growing really fast, and. Um, my paid community is just so much fun to be around. I wake up at 5 a.m. in the morning every night, every every morning, because every day is like Christmas to me. Because I really can't believe what I mean. God has really given me so much since um since last year, like February of last year. It's been it's been amazing. It's been an amazing ride. I think it's mostly because I'm right a lot, <laughs> and my trading is just absolutely obnoxious. It's like. I believe after those last three trades, I'm now ninety in I mean, ninety point three percent profitable since November two thousand twelve, a little over ninety percent profitable, and um, it's just it's it's almost unheard of what I'm what I'm able to do, and um, and my, my subscribers they love me and I love the site, I love working every day I just I enjoy what I do, and um, I don't see an end to it really because I know how to I know how to avoid danger I know how to um, look danger in the face and fight it. And uh, I know when I see euphoria and I know I see a lot of things and my abilities are just, um, like I said, I'm not trying to pat my own back, but they're outrageous. And I don't, I, when I read the article about myself, I, I just realized that, geez, what's going to happen in the next two years? What if we do hit Dow 33,000? I don't know. I could be the next uh, Mark Zuckerberg. You never know. That's a wrap.